Three people were injured in a low-intensity blast planted on a two-wheeler in front of a police station in Pune this afternoon. The vehicle was allegedly a stolen one. The blast brought back horrific memories of the attack on the German bakery in February 2010. Authorities are not ruling out the possibility of a terror attack. After two years, Pune targeted once again. But who is behind it this time? An improvised explosive device with nails and ball bearings planted in the boot of a stolen motorcycle exploding around 2 in the afternoon. A low intensity blast just outside this Vada Pao stall exactly opposite the Faras Khana police station in the very crowded area of uh, Pune caused uh, panic. Three persons were injured in this uh, blast. They received minor injuries. They were taken to the hospital and have now been discharged. This is an explosive device definitely because we have the remnants and the components. We can't say that it was blasted in any kind of wiki. Someone has put something here. We can't leave all the evidence. We can't leave any of the angles. The site of the blast critical in the vicinity of the famous Dagadu Shade Ganpati Temple already on the terror radar as the Indian Mujahideen had planned to blow it up. A terrorist group accused in the German bakery attack where a powerful bomb killed 17 people. And then in 2012 a series of low intensity blasts. In both cases, Indian Mujahideen mastermind Yasin Bhatkal, the main accused. The state government, however, insisting there was no intel from the center. Any nearby CCTV footage is being accessed. I appeal to the people of Pune not to panic. Pune fortunate it was a low intensity blast. As the city knows, it could have been much worse. With Imtiaz Jalil in Pune, in Mumbai, Tejas Mehta for NDTV.